Good evening, dear friends. Hope all are well. I am also fine by the grace of Allah. Today, I am going to discuss about important topics of Indian Constitution, that is Article 12 and Part 3. This video is very important for the upcoming public prosecutor examination. The examining who is interested to participate in the upcoming public prosecutor examination, then this video will be very helpful. That's why I have uh, prepared this video. Hope you will be benefit by watching this video. So let's start the video. Article 12, that means part 3. Part 3 of Indian Constitution consists of Article 12 to 35, that means fundamental rights. So in the first uh, article of part 3 of Indian Constitution, that is Article 12. Article 12 defines the term state. Question may ask, what is state? A question frequently arises in our mind that what is state? State as the car bully go on. But again, our fundamental rights, I mean, the car or for money, Kuni Amak infringe, clearly violate, Kurile, fundamental rights, the Kunabayama violate Kore, Tete Hale Amiki, before the Supreme Court or uh, High Court, Ami, Jaboparu, approach Kuriboparu for violation of fundamental rights. It is a question who say, Kone Bongo Kurile. That's why. Article 12 is very important, which defines the term state. So here, what is Article 12 and what are its definitions? Very important. So look this video and uh, my suggestion is to open your book and uh, find the Article 12 of Indian Constitution because this book is very important. Uh, PM Bakshi, the Constitution of India, very important. In the upcoming public prosecutor examination, uh, in the India Constitution, there is a provision of Article uh, Part 2, 3, and 4. This um, topic is covered, or this uh, separate is covered for the syllabus of public prosecutor examination. That's why definition of state in Article 12 defines that God and Parliament of India. Number one. The definition of state defines in Article 12, the definition is Government and Parliament of India. Second, Government and Legislature of each state. Thereafter, Local Authority. Thereafter, Other Authority within the territory of India or under control of Government of India. This includes in the definition of article 12 number one government and parliament of india government we know very clearly that government central government or in state it's state government that's why term state means government and parliament of india parliament of india includes president plus local shabha and rajya shabha this Three terms included in Parliament of India. That's why Government and Parliament of India, President, Loko Shabha and Rajya Shabha all are included in the term of state. Thereafter, God and Legislature of each state. In each state, there is a state government. That's why Government and Legislature of each state also include in the definition of state. Therefore, local authority and other authority, these are, on, these are also included in the definition of term state. Local authority means section 3 sub clause 31 of general clauses act defines local authority. Here, local authority means local self governing bodies, that means panchayat, municipality, these are local authority and other authority and any other authority within the territory of India and any other authority who is has absolute control of government of India and within the territory of India these are the organization within the territory of India or under control of government of India if any organization also uh, states in the outside of India that will also be included in the term of state as per article 12 of Indian Constitution.
director administrative judicial or quasi judicial functions are also included in the term of state state example there are different organizations which are also included in the term of state number one regional engineering college established by society register under a state act regional engineering college established by society registered under a state act is included in the term of state number two indian council of agricultural research institution is also included in the definition of state number three indian statistical institute thereafter steel authority of india limited thereafter food corporation of india thereafter nationalized banks nationalized banks are also included in the definition of the term state thereafter number seven international airport authority and rajasthan electricity board oil and natural gas commission council for indian school certificate examinations council for scientific and industrial research uttar pradesh Rajya Karmasari Kalan Nigam, Export Credit Grantee Corporation of India Limited, all the nationalized bank, Bombay Port Trust, United Insurance Company is also included in the definition of term state as per Article 12 of Indian Constitution. In the definition and example clauses, I have discussed about what are the states and what are the organizations and department of government of india and state legislature and parliament of india are included in the definition of the term state but there are some exceptions in the definitions of states article 12 these are there and such organizations are also not included in the term of state that means these organizations are not state so let's see but in G Telefilms Limited versus Union of India in 2005, very important. In G Telefilms Limited versus Union of India in 2005, Board of Control for Cricket in India, that means BCCI, is not state as per the judgment of the Honorable Supreme Court of India. And another case, Honorable Supreme Court held that in Lieutenant Governor of Delhi versus B.K. Sadhi, 2007. Again, repeating, in Lieutenant Governor of Delhi versus B.K. Sadhi in 2007, Honorable Supreme Court held that State Council of Irrigation Research and Training, in short, H.C.E.R.T. is not included with the definition of state. That means. HCERT is not state and BCCI is not also state. So, if any organization of Government of India and Parliament of India or other organizations or branches of organizations violates the provision of Article 12 or Part 3 of Indian Constitution, which is fundamental rights, then read petition read petition can be filed for enforcing the fundamental rights before the supreme court or before the high court as per article 32 and 226 of indian constitution in this definition i have elaborated about details article 12 of indian constitution and another interesting topics is that article 12 is not a fundamental rights but 13 to 35 is a fundamental rights but article 12 is not fundamental rights thanks a lot